Welcome to this video on how to sketch gradient functions. So what's going to happen is you'll be given a graph and on a different set of axes you'll have to draw the gradient function. And what that means is you're going to sketch a copy of the slope. That's what gradient means. And there's three steps in order to do that. Let's go through them one by one. The first step is you're going to look on the graph you're given for the steepest point that's sloping upwards and mark it. Then on your other graph you're going to know that that's the highest point going upwards so you mark that really high up on your new set of axes. Then you look for the steepest point sloping downwards, that's your second step. And in a parabola that's on the right hand side here. Now on your gradient function that's the steepest negative gradient or negative slope therefore we mark that lowest on our graph. And then finally we're going to look for any stationary points in our graph. So ones that are horizontal or have a zero gradient and that's a turning point as far as parabolas or cubics go. So now at this turning point, that has a zero gradient, or well, therefore we mark it as zero on our new set of axes. Now I've overlapped them on the one graph to save space for this tutorial. You'll be drawing these blue crosses on a completely new set of axes. Once you've done all those three points, you can connect them together with a line, and that is your gradient function. It's now a line that gets continually lower and lower and lower. And that's because the slope of this parabola starts off really high, slowly gets lower, lower, lower until it gets to zero here, and then starts to get more and more negative. So that's what our new orange graph is showing. Let's try another one of these now. Let's go through our first point of finding our steepest points that are sloping up. That's one over on the right here. And on our graph, on our new set of axes, we'd mark that as the highest point upwards. Then you're going to go to the second step, find the steepest point sloping down. Once you've found that point, you're going to mark that as the lowest point on your new set of axes, because that's the biggest negative gradient. Finally, you're going to look for any stationary points, points which have zero gradient or their turning points, and we mark them as zero on the graph to mark their zero gradient. Then you connect all the lines together and you have your gradient function drawn. So that's how we do it with parabolas, and with parabolas you should always end up with roughly a straight line. But what happens if you get something a little more complex? We follow the exact same steps. So here with this cubic we still find the steepest points that are sloping upwards and we mark them on our graph. But you'll notice there's two points which are both really steep. So mark them both and then on your new set of axes you'll mark them both right up high as your steepest positive gradients. Then we're going to go to part two, finding the steepest points sloping downwards. Now there's only one point sloping downwards and you'll notice that it's not quite as steep down as these ones are up. So I'm not going to put it right near the bottom because it's not that steep going negative. So we just put it a wee bit of the way down. And finally, we're going to look for any stationary points, parts with a zero gradient, and we'll mark them zero on our set of axes. And then you can connect all your new blue x's up with a nice smooth line, in this case that looks like a parabola, and that will give you your gradient function. So let's try one more for good luck. Here we find the steepest point sloping upward, and there's only one point sloping upward, so we mark that. It's not very steep, so we don't put it being very positive. Then we find the steepest point sloping downwards, and we mark them. Now they're very steep sloping downwards, so we'll put them both as being very negative. And finally, we're going to look for our stationary points, and we're going to mark them as zero on our set of axes. Finally, we draw a smooth line connecting all those crosses together, and that would be your gradient function. So sketching a gradient function is always following these steps and that will show the nice smooth change of slope in your graph.